Hey, what's going on guys? This is Albert and I have with me our first guest, you know, when we talk about uh, doing this episode podcast, um, we want, I want to have my first guest as the person next to me, Gita, which is also uh, the entrepreneur in fitness industry here uh, as the owner of Ride and I have her because we go a long way back, we go right? way back. and then we're kind of like one of the two pioneer I guess I would I would call it at least for the what we do we and tried what our we best. do we tried our yes. best yes we tried our best uh, so that's what I think I mean there's a lot of other fitness stuff but I mean in regards to what the way you're doing your thing and the way I do our thing is very original in the sense like nobody else is doing it, so. we're hoping that way okay. yes no. <laughs> so anyway I have Gita with me uh, and you know we're gonna cover some of the questions that you guys asked us over or asked Empire over our poll uh, on Instagram and some of it in regards of how to get in shape, being healthy, but I also want to talk to Gita about just running a, a, a gym, fitness industry, how it is over here. So I'll give you guys a little insight on this episode about, you know, uh, fitness business, uh, what's going on here into the uh, what we do daily and everything else so that way if you ever decide to be a trainer or to open your own gym you have a clearer picture but i feel like that will be is good for another topic for a longer one well we'll see we'll see how this turn out so anyway um i'm also literally across the street you can like just oh yeah you live me. across the street yeah you can just tell me to come back <laughs> yeah. so anyway we're gonna go dive into our wait before we dive into our first yes. question I do want people to know your story. Oh, of like what you told me, if you don't yes. mind no sharing. Worries. Yeah, because I, I thought that was a, that was a really interesting. Yeah, so. it's a it's its own thing. So basically, when I was uh, twenty two, which was sixteen years ago, um, <laughs> I just completely revealed everything. <laughs> um, um, I was diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disease called Stills disease um, and one of the symptoms was a full body uh, autoimmune rheumatoid arthritis and if you're wondering what rheumatoid arthritis is it's something that usually a lot of older people get and it's stiffness of the joint because the synovial fluids in your joints are inflamed mm. and redden so I couldn't walk for a while I was like in a wheelchair it was just totally terrible um, and I think if you're in your 20s and something that bad happens to you, and I was also taking chemo medication, it was just overall terrible. And I was not very mobile. Jeez. Yeah. Um, wow. Um, if something that bad happens to you uh, and you're not very mobile, then pokoknya jadi susah jalan. It's almost kayak waktu itu aku jalannya itu mirip uh, sama orang yang udah jauh lebih tua, yang udah ta- umur 80-90 gitu. Um, semua orang ngelihat aku as if aku itu not even a person. Mm. Kayak mereka ngelihat aku udah kasihan, you know. And right. when you people look at you as if oh ini orang harus dipiti, it's a huge bruise on your ego. At that age. At that age, umur yeah. 22 tahun nggak bisa mm. jalan, udah gitu diliatin orang tiap kali naik bus harus dibantuin. Like it's it's a tough like you know experience. Experience. Um, tetapi um, I was complaining about it a lot and my brother said, hey, you know, uh, di hidup ini, you itu bisa bitch in which you'll stop having friends because you'll just be annoying mm. or you can do something about it. Terus aku bilang, Pandu kan ini gak ada cure-nya. Terus Pandu bilang, hey, it's not about cure. It's about doing what you can do. So every day, bitch for five minutes, tapi udah gitu, actually try to do something about it. So fast forward, kira-kira lima enam tahun ke depan, sudden like with a lot of work, with a lot of luck, with a lot of everything lah, mm. um, I was able to go into remission. So I've been in remission now for almost ten years. Um, I flare up sometimes depending on stress or mm. life, and yeah, but otherwise I've been a completely functioning person. Um, right. And by getting back all my mobility. This is why I find so much like empowerment in fitness. Mm. Karena sebenarnya, unlike a lot of people who like go in there and yeah, I can go harder, go home. I had to start 
from scratch, like right. learning how to, you know, learning how to pick up a bottle, <laughs> learning, I couldn't because it's, it's this, right? Like uh, learning how to walk, learning how to do a squat, learning how to do very extremely basic things. And because I started that way, I look at people in a different light. So I don't go, oh, you know, just go hard, you know, because I know, hey, I don't know your life. Maybe even walking is really hard for you. Right. You're just happy to be able to move. So my brand is all about, I'm going to celebrate you mm. for showing up. Like, because you have to celebrate every little win. Right. Karan, you don't know if that person's win is actually a really big deal. Yes. Right? Like, yes. what seems like a normal person, oh, uh, dia tadi cuman cycling cuman 20 menit. And it's you don't off. know. Yeah, that's true. That's My first part. cycling was 3 menit. Yes. And, and I was dead because I physically can't really move. So for, for me, that's big. Like, so my brand, I don't want to leverage off of people's insecurity because the world is hard enough, mm. right? Why do you, why should you make people feel worse than they already are? Yeah. And I want to celebrate people. I want to celebrate people for just trying. Just showing up. Just the little wins, just like that. Yeah. That matters to me. And so that's the driving force of my brand. That's the little wins. That's awesome. The little wins every day. That's interesting. Yeah. Because then a lot of people also kind of like go to the gym and they're starting to like, you know, pay attention. The opposite, yeah. like where yeah. they pay attention to like what they can't do. Right. Yeah, like and then they're like, whoa, that guy could do this. Right. I, I don't want to minder yeah. get the, you know what yeah. I mean? And they're like, you feel bad. Yeah. And then and they end up not coming because they're comparing themselves. And that's the part that you don't know, right? Like you have to be proud of what you're able to do. Right that you can't do before where yeah. like before you maybe you can't even do a pull-ups but then now you can yeah shoot screw pull-ups you know some people <laughs> just can't even hang you know what i mean yeah and yeah. you should be proud of that kalau bisa hang yeah you know and that's a part for you too for all the members out there like you know be proud of people just showing up right that's yes. part of it right don't be like oh yeah she can't she's weak or whatever oh or he's weak. Yeah. at least that's yeah. also like the kind of community that I want yeah. I don't want that where like people are like judging people by what they can do right because then and karma is so real it's so real if there's anything I know pushing 40 is that for every action there's a reaction there you go so, <laughs> <There> you go. <laughs> so uh, that's her story pretty awesome pretty inspiring I like that very much yeah. so let's dive into the question then that people asked us which is how to maintain eating healthy Simple, on a budget, by the way, eating healthy, make sure that it's simple, healthy food yeah. and also on a budget mm -hmm. while you're busy and also, you know, don't have time. Yeah, and I guess on the budget as well. <laughs> so what's your uh, what's your take on that? Then I'll, I'll answer my I'll chip in my two cents. So I'm not a nutritionist and um, I'm. I'm just a cycling instructor. <laughs> it's not a just a cycling I mean, You're yeah. You're um, a cycling instructor. Anyway, so don't also take everything I say to heart because what works for me might not work for you at all. Um, there are 7 billion bodies in this world. I highly doubt we're all the same. But me personally, I don't really eat healthy. <laughs> like, I don't have a plan. There like, you go. <laughs> the reason is... Um, I'm pushing 40 um, and at this stage in my life, I'm way too tired um, and getting a little old to care all the time because it's tiring. Um, so I just try to eat a little bit of everything and I try to practice um, what now people call intuitive eating, uh, but throughout human history is just called eating. Basically, if I'm lapar, I'm makan. <laughs> kalau udah kenyang gue, gue stop. Kalau gue pengen makan donat, gue makan donat. Kalau because basically the more I, I think about it, the more I stress out and the more gak jelas makanan gue. Tapi kalau misalnya ya udahlah makan apa aja, there's a good chance your body will probably tell you to stop it mm. if you eat one full pizza eight days in a row. There's a good chance. Like your body will go. Like you're gonna get sick. Like I, I don't feel so good. Mm. Um, yeah. So, sure. but just realize that 
every time you go on a diet yang might sound like a good idea if you can't maintain that diet for 25 years don't be on it there you go maintain yeah if you can't be on a diet for more than 25 years like that means it's not the diet for you like that means you need to find a way to be more balanced so right. for me it's just eating a little bit of everything eating when i'm hungry stopping when i'm full um and there's a good chance your body will just really tell you what it wants mm. but if you deny your body stuff it'll yeah it'll okay. rebel that's what you see all right <laughs> well there you go you heard it from Gita. well for me how to maintain eating healthy i think um obviously it depend on i think it comes down to it depend on like what you're trying to do mm. right? yeah like what you what your goal is right obviously if you are <clears throat> If you are trying to, you know, uh, achieve a certain mm. fitness goal, and definitely eating uh, is a big part of it. Now, how do you make sure that it's simple and on a budget? You know, actually, one of the best thing here in Indonesia or in Jakarta is it's it's quite cheap to ask somebody or to hire somebody to kind of make food for you. Jadi mm -hmm. di, di, I think planning is the biggest thing. Not planning so much. Is the biggest. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, when yeah. you plan, you save money, right? Yeah. Uh, you, it's it's simple. So planning is the biggest thing. I would try to go to you know if you can only afford like warung or whatever. Yeah. Like if that's the budget that you have, go to your favorite warung and then ask them like, hey, for me, can you make this a certain meal? Yeah. And I'll, maybe I'll pay more than what everybody else is paying, but it'll sure be cheaper than going to any of these like more expensive yeah, healthy meal, right? Yeah, so planning and then, you know, saving those meals, put it in a Tupperware yeah. and then bring it where you go. And, you know, that's why when you see a lot of fitness people does that because they consume a lot of protein, right? Yeah. And then we can't just go to any restaurant and ask for 200 grams of protein because one restaurant be like 500,000 rupiah, it'd be like, oh. You know yeah. what I mean? So it all depends, yeah. right? Um, but planning is the biggest thing. So if you're busy, you got to plan for the kind yeah. of food that you're eating. If you're messing up, it's because you're not planning uh, where to eat, what to eat and stuff. So plan it out. On Sunday, you plan it out. All right, cool. Moving on. Anything you got? You got some, something else to say about that? Oh, but I completely agree with you. I think kebanyakan orang, kalau misalnya mereka minta meal plan atau minta bantuan, mm. mereka juga nggak ada goal. Like right. I see this all That's the time. Okay. Kayak goalnya mau apa gitu. I don't know. Like, yeah, 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 oh yeah. So they just ask for a, like general meal plan. Bantuin meal plan dong. Lah, kamu maunya apa gitu. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, know, yeah, your, yeah. know your goal. Yeah. yeah. Karena kalau goalnya cuma I just want to lead a healthy balanced life. Ya udah, that's a completely different mindset juga. Right, right, right. It's different than the person who's like I'm trying to win the Olympics. Yes, ah. yes. Right. Different. There you go. Yes. That's a good point right there. Yeah. No, that was Not a, really a lot good of people point. are like, okay, yeah. specific goals, obviously, and then yeah. uh, plan it out. All right. So, second question that somebody asked us is how to maintain self drive and having fitness mindset to motivate daily life. Is that Jeez. true? So, uh, having fitness mindset to motivate daily life. Ooh. Okay. This is interesting. How do you maintain self drive? What makes you keep going working out? Because in my job, <laughs> no, ini literally Same. jualan gue. Kalau gue nggak olahraga ya parah banget. Kau mana bisa jualan? Um, I true. can do it too. Iya kan kayak ini tuh kita uh, terakhir kali dia olahraga tiga bulan yang lalu. <laughs> oh my god. Tiga. Jadi pernah pernah literally okay. uh, gue pernah sih nggak olahraga sebulan. And that was very memalukan. Look, oh. it happened, okay? Yeah. Uh, dan kalau ditanya apa yang terjadi, gue malas aja. Just legit. Oh. Um, I just did. Jadi uh, sekarang baru balik lagi. Uh, dan kalau misalnya balik, it's actually so hard. Karena kan semuanya ini di dunia kalau misalnya kita mulai sesuatu, udah gitu stop, balik hmm. lagi susah banget kan. It's so hard yeah, to just like just go back. Like, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think what always uh, empowers me adalah this just small wins lagi, small hmm. wins aja. Enggak usah langsung masuk olahraga sejam, tapi yang penting mulai aja. Just start. So the way I do it is I put on workout clothes hmm. um, and then I bitch about it for about 10 minutes oh while walking God, out the door. Like I hate this, I hate this. 
tapi udah gitu gue bilang sama diri gue sendiri oke okay, git uh, 15 menit on the treadmill nggak usah lari jalan aja hmm. pasti lebih lama dari 15 menit karena you feel weird because you're like there already you're yeah, like yeah, yeah I'm already here might as well ya udah deh and then maybe you can finish 20 minutes who knows so it's like tricking your self you have to trick to yourself trap, man trap yourself you have to trap gym. yourself <laughs> like there's no way out I already signed up <laughs> yeah apa, apa. that's why it's so expensive to go to our studio maybe <laughs> yeah. like no, hey so you already paid for it <laughs> no no but I do that like I trick myself often karena never assume bahwa trainers itu that we're naturally motivated we're not like a lot of times it's just our job and then <laughs> literally um, then juga everyone <laughs> has issues doing something gitu loh. True. You're not you're not unique if you're yeah. if you don't want to work out. Like a lot of people don't. Most don't. Ya iyalah. Yeah. It's, it's like why do you want to do something harder? Most people don't want to do something harder. I mean, yes. I mean, your 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 mind or your body is just genetically uh built. Well, not built. I'm sorry. Program mm. to be I wouldn't say lazy, but to be conservative with your energy. Yeah, makes Because sense. back in the day, you kind of have to like save your energy in case like a, ch- a lion chasing you. Right. So like uh, in case that you need to hunt, right? So you're right. you're very very conservative with your energy, and that throughout evolution kind of like carry yeah. on throughout the generation where like, so so don't feel bad if you don't feel like working out because that's what your body is 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 kind of like design your yeah. DNA where like dude you need to like conserve energy yeah. and stuff, right? So yeah, but I think. For me, how to maintain the self-drive and having fitness mindset to motivate your daily life. The way I see it for fitness, it could improve in anything that you do. So mm. like, I, I think like it solves so much problem in your life and it improve in anything that you do. So the way you gotta look at it, I think fitness for me is like a supplementation to be better at whatever mm. it is that you like. So say, say oh. fitness is not like something that you're into yeah but you're into business yeah i said just look at it like hey by being fit i'll be able to do more business i'll be more productive i'll be more you're you know, more on, on exactly point. i feel like i feel like it's just a supplement to that right or maybe exactly. you're you're you are um maybe you don't uh, maybe you're a beauty blogger i don't know right but like You just look at it, fitness could help you with this thing. Yeah. Or like maybe you're whatever, whatever, whatever that you like. Yeah. Tie that to fitness, where fitness could be like help you on that. Maybe you're a mother with with three children. Yeah. So instead of looking at it like, oh, I'm a mother with three children, I can't do fitness. Be like, hey, look, if I if I work out, I'll be able to have more energy. Yeah. To deal with my kids. Yeah. I'll be able to chase after know. my kids. Yeah. So like yeah. the mindset, instead of looking at fitness as another thing that you have to take care of, it's like yeah. a burden. I gotta look at it as like this is gonna help me with the stuff that I like, right? Yeah. That's the way I see it. I think if you want to be a better whatever, just adding fitness into it could help. I don't know. I mean, I just feel like it'll help with every single thing. It does. Self-confidence. I mean, I used to have that problem big time. Yeah. But you're like you. <laughs> no, seriously. You're like, like, look at this. Like, you well, work maybe out. that was because I was like, oh, no, I'm I look so bad. <laughs> I'm wearing sleeves. Um, nah, I mean, I, back in the days, I was not even like during my college day, I was kind of like, you know just having, having low self esteem wasn't as out there before I joined yeah. the military right yeah, yeah. I was, I was in like the military dude that was before the military I was like I wasn't so loud I'm very conservative conservative oh. with my space my voice everything else did not know that but you know obviously military have something to do yes. with it but a lot of it also be just being active and working out right, you know right. so I feel like ooh I'm feeling myself, you know. So I'll, you know. Now we so, know what he does like, in front of the mirror every morning. Nah, that was back in the day where I feel like, and this is part of the reason why I opened the gym for me yeah. because I feel like the benefit that I get so much, I want to give that to people. I want to give that to a lot of people, and I feel like I could help them in any any area of their lives by just coming to the gym. You know, we're just working out, we just sweat. Yeah, so, yeah. So yeah. I like that. So, yeah. That's the way I see it. All right, number three, biggest challenge for people to work out. I can name a lot. 
I can name everything. Like I hear, ev- you hear yeah, everything. We hear everything, yeah, pretty much. And the funny part is, like most trainers, we like we have we have our own like life, so we're really not policing people. So I find it so funny that I like meet and client or whatever and mm. they're like oh my god dude i'm so sorry i haven't been to ride and i'm like literally don't care <laughs> like i have my own life i have a job <laughs> so um just realize that you know it should the motivation should start with you like your trainer like you're not gonna yeah. piss off your trainer or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. like it really should start with you but the biggest challenge like everything Time, Time yeah. place, banyak banget. Work, anak, yeah. kerjaan, um, uh, capek. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> You're yeah. like, I mean, I don't know what to so tell many, you. Yeah, so many. Yeah, yeah, I think what I love so much what you said before adalah sebenarnya if you fail, it's because you didn't plan. Uh. It's kind of like I'm so sorry to do. I'm not sorry. Okay. <laughs> Tough love-nya begini. Kalau misalnya you itu bener-bener mau sesuatu you'll really do it you'll get it done the only reason you're not getting it done is because you don't really want to yeah ya gak apa-apa juga like you don't have to but I'm yeah. just saying like every time people like I've always wanted to I'm like maybe not like yeah 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 karena I've seen people with no budget no nothing um y- y- lari-lari aja yes di sekeliling rumah good shape yeah 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 you know so it's like GBK, they just want GBK? to learn more stuff all. Ini kayak dia mulainya di GBK. Yes, we, I yes. started in GBK. She came to my weekend by the way in GBK. Yeah. Okay. So, biggest challenge for people to work out. That's interesting. I mean, I heard the same thing. So, I think I need to elaborate on that. I mean, there's so many challenges, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, the pet. I think the biggest challenge is your mindset. I think. Yes, That's your mindset. It. It's like. What do you what do you put as your limiting beliefs? If you yes. say that time you don't have time, then it's true you don't have time. That's a yeah. limit that you put on yourself. We watch the same life coach. Like, we do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like limiting belief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. So that's that. Um, anyway, I want to transition over to something that we're both very passionate about. Yes, sir. That was more of into like you know tips on getting people in shape. But what we want to transition over which this is a, a big thing that I, I kind of I, 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 I follow I, I really look into is the, uh, the the fitness industry aspect because we both are a business owner and then we're both are uh, what you want we're getting something from the back oh we're more careful okay wrap it up wrap it up for the first session Oh, okay, okay. Oh. So, so anyway, uh, that is our top for the uh, first session when it comes to the uh, um, tips from both trainers and owners, which we both, by the way, teach the class, right? Yes. So, for those of you guys, if you are, um, look, we both actually kind of like what I do with weights, with hits and stuff is completely opposite of what Gita, which mm-hmm. which is the the bike with the ride and stuff. Yeah, her, yeah. But obviously the destination is quite similar between what mm-hmm. we're trying to do to people or right, to get into shape, to get into healthy. So whether you do ride, whether you come to us, a lot of it comes down to, you know, how bad do you wanna get in shape or or, yeah. or, or just kind of like your mindset, right? Planning to go to work out. So hopefully these talks has been, um, useful for you guys and you know this is from both of us who is kind of out there kicking butt uh, trying to get people to go to work out yeah so, penting mulai there you go yeah so, itu aja. so yeah that's it hopefully if you guys have any more questions just DM us and put it also in our pool next time peace don't forget by the way to like and subscribe I forgot to say that podcast and all that stuff alright <laughs>